Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. In this video, we are doing C Sharp. So we'll learn how to create a very simple logger, basically a logger, which will log all your, uh, let's say you want to debug some methods or you want to add some logging capabilities your, to your code. So this project will teach you about uh, some of the basic concepts of uh, writing. Since we'll be, we are implementing a logger, we have to write to a file. We'll be also using the OS module basically to get the current working directory and to create a, a file basically, right? So what we are about to do in this project, uh, let me actually show you uh, the code. Uh, so here you can see we have a simple logger class, uh, right? We'll uh, implement this logger class and uh, whenever you uh, basically write anything. So here you can see uh, it's basically going to log everything in a, in, a, in a file, right? So that's our goal for today. And let's get started with the tutorial series, right? So. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is basically uh, I'm going to create a brand new uh, .NET project, right? So I'm on my VS code. Uh, let me do this. Let me paint my uh, window right there. And let's create a project called as .NET new, right? Uh, .NET, .NET new console, console output. And we'll say my logger, logger, right? Hit enter and it should basically create a very basic directory for you. Let's uh, do command B so we can see the directory structure. So I'm going to go to the uh, my logger project and um, here you can sure enough see that there is a file called as hello world, right? Now the file structure has been created right now. Let us go to inside our that uh, folder and just issue a dot net run. So this basically ensures that everything is basically uh, working. So if you get hello world, then we are good to go for this session, right? So that's our goal, right? So hopefully we should get hello world within a second because it's compiling for the first time, right? So, all right, so the code is compiled and we can pay in the window. Don't need that one. Now let us define our logger class. So we need to do a couple of imports here. So uh, let's see. So let's add something here using system.io right so we have added system.io right now i'm gonna define a class right here usually you have to define a class in a different file but i'm just doing it here for the uh, sake of explaining right so let's define a class called as log base and it's gonna be an abstract method right so let me see this yep so it's gonna be an abstract method uh, so basically this will have a method called as public right and i would say abstract and uh, it's not gonna do anything but so void so uh, anyone who inherits this class will has to provide the implementation of the class called as log function right and this log function will basically just take a message right so here you, here you can see it's clear just an abstract class uh, let me also write my notes here Remember when you're coding, you know, make sure to write comments and you know, it's very important. All right. So now let's implement our logger class, right? So I'm going to say class logger, right? And um, the very first thing I want to do is define a couple of variables, right? And I'm going to define it as a private because I don't want other people to have access to it. So I'm going to say private. I'm going to say string current directory and I'm going to say get set. Right. So that's one of the stuff private. So I'm going to say private the file name of my logger private file name. Oops, I forgot the data type string get set. Right. So I've done that. Now, basically, I have my file name, I have my current directory. What else do I need? Well, I need the file path, the complete file path, right? So I'm going to create a variable for that as well. So you can say file path. Get set. Okay, so cool so far. Now basically what I need to do is basically I need to create a constructor. So public, the name of the class. It's not gonna take any argument, so it's just gonna say this. Now basically this dot 
current directory the variable that we create would be we'll be assigning a value we'll say directory dot get current uh, get current directory right so that's our current directory we'll say this dot file name and we'll name our file as log.txt in the constructor and after that once that is done what we'll do is basically uh, i think the file path this dot file uh, file path is equal to would be this dot current directory plus we have to add a slash plus we'll say this this dot file name right makes sense so that's done now we need to um, uh, basically implement our abstract function that we defined up in the class uh, i should have said public here right and let's inherit this from log base okay so now i need to provide the implementation of the log function which i'll do it in a sec do it in a second public uh, override uh, then the data type is void log right that's the implementation that i'm going to provide right now basically i need to uh, create a, a file stream object because i want to you know i'm going to write to a file right so what i can do using and i can do this way say system dot io dot uh let's use the stream writer stream writer right let's create a stream writer or let's just call it w let's create that object right so uh, you can say like system dot io dot uh, 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 we'll say file uh, dot uh, append append lines because we want to append uh, actually you know what let's do append text so append text right this will be basically appending the text to at the end of this this take the file path uh, so we'll say this dot file path right let me uh, scroll this a little bit all uh, right oops okay so that that's pretty much it right now uh, just you know we'll write some logging code so let's do this right so calling the date time module uh, it's gonna add the date the time and the message that we pass in the function right so that's pretty much it i mean it's pretty easy right um so let's test it out right uh, let's do command b right now to test it out i'm gonna say create a class oh, sorry basically create an instance of that object logger logger dot log whatever then you want to log right and every time this will basically add it to the end of the file okay hopefully no more errors all right so let's try to run our logger class and see whether this works uh dot net run So I think it's compiling right now and here you can see it's uh, successful and let's go to the log file and here you can see sure enough it did uh, it does work indeed right so the code is there on my github uh, the links are on the description section below so make sure to check that out if you have any more questions please list them in the comment section and I would be very happy to assist you once again thank you for your love and support um, uh, and if you have any more questions suggestions please list them in the comments and I would be basically getting back to you as quick as, as I can. Once again, thank you for um, all your love and support. Keep smiling, keep coding and see you guys in the next video.